Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the underlay node. And uh, again, we've been uh, working on these flow nodes or the flow organizational nodes. And uh, they're super quick, super easy. So these videos are going to be fast, but I still want to do them. But one important one is the underlay. Because the underlay will allow you to visually organize your uh, node trees when they start getting hectic or crazy. Or you just want to organize them for yourself or for somebody else who's going to be uh, using your project. So to create an underlay node, all we have to do is shift click and type underlay. And we get an underlay. And what we want to do is we want to group different things in this underlay to uh, kind of keep our little node tree here organized. So we can grab our underlay, we can place it kind of around the nodes we want to uh, include in our underlay here. Go there, there, and then we select it. You can uh, see we have our color, color curves in our vignette included in our little underlay. Now, let's say I just wanted all my color nodes in here. I didn't want my vignette in here. I could easily just unselect everything, select my vignette, drag it out. Now my vignette is no longer part of my underlay and we can resize however we want. Additionally, we can right click and set color. So we can change this to a lime green. So it's annoyingly bright. Additionally, we can rename this node, but mind you, it's going to do some weird things. So even if I click off it, click on my underlay, I can right click or hit F2 to rename it. When I hit rename, it's going to cycle through all the nodes within our little underlay to uh, rename. So if you notice, it says color curves. Okay. Color corrector. Okay. Rename our underlay one to color nodes. And okay. So there we go. And I forgot fusion does not do spaces. So, uh, okay. Okay. Color underscore nodes. There we go. So now we can move these all around in our node tree to organize them. But notice this isn't like the uh, group node. There is no input on the actual underlay. Our inputs are still connected to our nodes. And if I wanted to add another node back in, say I wanted my vignette back in there, I could just grab my vignette, put it back in, and now it's part of that little underlay. So that is the underlays node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.